everyone, and welcome to our next episode of CU Faith Fridays for our fall semester. Today we have with us um, Ana Gonzalez Martin and Paula Dietz Garcia. Um, they're both members of the basketball, the women's basketball team here at Caldwell, but we're going to learn a little bit more about that as we get to know them. So, welcome, ladies. Thank you for joining us this week. And uh, I think we'll just start off with our first question, which is simply just tell us a little bit about yourselves. Um, I'm Paula Ditch. Uh, yeah, I'm part of the basketball team. Um, we both are from Spain, and we are both in biology major. Um, um, I decided to, to come to Calvin University mainly because of basketball. And yeah, we are so happy that we, we had this opportunity to come. And yeah, we are, we are now in our junior year and taking advantage of everything. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you wanna. Uh, yes, <laughs> I'm Ana and as you said, I'm from Toledo, Spain. And we are part of the basketball team. And we came to Coldwell because of because of basketball. We were recruited by Coach Jones. And also, uh, I love the location where it is. Um, and I also liked its its biology program. I heard it was really good. And yeah, we are junior now, and we are loving it. Yeah, <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Wonderful. Um, so <clears throat> just a quick question and really just because I'm wondering, do you guys live on campus or off campus? On campus. Yeah. Oh, you live on campus. Okay, yeah, great. One of the residence halls. We awesome. live. <laughs> okay, good, good. Yeah. So I'm curious, um, are you guys both from the same um, city or town in Spain? Did you know each other before you came here? Mm, no, this mm. is actually funny. I'm from Toledo in the center of Spain. And Paula is I'm from... I'm from the coast, Alicante. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know each other before coming. We played against each other in some tournaments when we were younger. Yeah. Uh, but yes, we met here and oh. yeah, it, that's funny. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That is, that's a great story. So yeah. Coach Jones recruited you guys separately. Separately, and, yeah. And you just happened to come the same year as freshmen. Exactly. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's yeah. great. I love it. I love it. So you're, um, you're studying biology. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Anna, I heard you say that um, biology is a really great program here. Um, what, what are some of the things, I guess, that you guys heard before you got here about the biology program? And now being in it, what do you like about studying biology? Well, I think it has a lot of options um, after biology. And we felt that we had a lot of chances to, to choose later. And the fact we love biology and all the courses that involved in. So I, in my part, I think it was the, the best thing that fit in my, my life. So yeah, I didn't have, I didn't hesitate to take biology. So yeah, <laughs> to me, I love the faculty. I feel they are so involved. And, and they really engage with the students and try to help you to, uh, to find your opportunities in what you specifically want to do. And I really feel uh, that they are preparing me for, for my future career in physical therapy. Oh, great, great. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> so let's go back to Spain. Um, where you guys are from. What's it like being an international student here at Caldwell? Well, it's amazing. When, when we got here, we didn't know the university had that much diversity of international students. So once we got here, it was so exciting and we were so happy that we found a lot of international students. So we feel very supported and it's so exciting that we are living this experience and together from the same country so we can share our values yeah and yeah. playing basketball it's everything so exciting yeah, yeah. The, the diversity that colwell that has is just amazing 
like um, we learn from other students all over the world and yeah. and we can talk to them about about our our traditions our culture and we can learn from them they can learn from us so it's really a a great experience yeah we are learning a lot from talking to mm -hmm. uh, friends people it's amazing yeah That's great well I can imagine that it's uh, sometimes difficult also being like thousands of miles from home. So what are some things that you guys miss from Spain? Well, <laughs> for us, the food <laughs> is something the food we, is, <laughs> we, we value a lot. In Spain, we love our food. Like, mm -hmm. we, there are some, some mm. foods that you can only find in Spain. And uh, I feel like here you can, if you're Italian, you can go to an Italian restaurant, you can go to, but it, the food in Spain for us is just so special. <laughs> and so special. well, of course, our families. Uh, yeah, we, we miss, miss our them. families. Miss this this year, we, like, as year passes, we are more comfortable. Uh, but maybe our freshman year, we will miss more home and we will be more homesick. Now we, we talk to our families a lot. We are, we yeah, call we them got whenever used to, we, to yeah. Situation. Mm -hmm. so. But of course, you always miss your family, you know? Yeah, yeah, yep. And I think, especially um, <clears throat> now during this pandemic, how is your how is your family doing? How are your communities doing back home um, with, with the coronavirus? Yeah. yeah, fortunately, my family hasn't been directly affected, but it's always a scary. We always have to be careful and. Uh, with all this situation, we well, Spain went to lockdown before the United States, and we were still here, and it was scary. And we were, we were, I was scared that something was gonna be, something was gonna happen to my family, and what I wasn't gonna be there for for them. And yeah. but we both came back for for spring break, so we could spend uh, all the pandemic with our family. So that's. That's yeah. a good point because we were supported and we were more less yeah. concerned about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The concern was uh, we didn't know if we were having classes, if we were going, if we were coming back. It was like all we didn't know. Everything was up in the air. Yeah, we yeah. didn't know we were gonna be able to come back to the U.S. to study, yeah, to have a season. Well. It was so confusing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. That's interesting. It's it's almost um, so you were already planning on going home for spring break anyways. Well, I wasn't. I, I, I was. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I okay. plan to go back. I I was going for a week and I couldn't get back later. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when did you guys come back to the um, to the U.S.? Um, uh, by the middle of uh, August. For yeah. Me. Okay. Because I had to quarantine before coming to classes, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, nice. So you did get some good time with your family. And yeah, that yeah. was nice. We, like, really soaked nice. up the food that you were able to eat yeah, over yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. I'm surprised. Um, I don't know if you guys have, well, it's hard to travel into New York City right now, but I, I'm sure there's got to be some, um, like, uh, Spanish food from Spain, like restaurants in New York. Yeah. Have you found anything? Yeah, we found, but we yeah. feel it's very expensive. <laughs> oh, and yes. home, like, too cheap. So, okay, we just wait and yeah. take <laughs> Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Understandable. Yeah. Understandable. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> let's transition to talking a little bit about uh, basketball. So you guys said that you're um, both on the basketball team, the women's basketball team here, and that you were recruited by um, Coach Jones. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, what's it like? Uh, maybe to how would you describe um, being a student athlete here at Caldwell to students who are not athletes and are not part of that world? Well, I would say it's a challenge, but it's a growth experience too and it brings you so much joy and well to me i i wouldn't i wouldn't know how to not play a sport here it would be now this year that we are not practicing that much we feel like we have too much time in our hands <laughs> it's, it's been interesting to live without 
without the, the stress that that basketball produces too but just to be able to to share uh, the every day with your team and go and work hard every day and and how you're and, and do the the thing you love every day and practicing yeah. uh, to me it's special mm -hmm. to be a student athlete yeah a student athlete imposes so much commitment and especially when we are in season it's so much stress we don't have time so yeah it's a challenge as anna said because we are learning a lot how to um keep on with our studies and and give everything in in basketball sometimes you you are in the limit but you need to keep going and keep pushing and yeah that's been a challenge but yeah, yeah mm -hmm. i think uh from just student athletes that I've worked with and encountered, I think you guys have uh, such a unique way of balancing everything in life. So you're great at almost that like work life balance. And, um, and so I can imagine that now, without, you know, intense practices all the time, or even, you know, it's October, so gearing up for the basketball season, um, because of COVID, uh, what's it? I guess what has that been like? Um, what are some of the like uncertainties that you have? Are you enjoying the downtime? Do you miss um, kind of the basketball preparations that you would be doing in a normal year? We are missing it a lot, I think. We are missing it. Yeah. yeah. We yeah, are yeah. sometimes like sad because we, la we love playing basketball, even though we, we don't have games until November. Usually we love practicing and just this stress get of mind of playing basketball and i feel it's getting it's been like an, an adaptation to not practice a lot this year and yeah yeah for us is our, our time to practice every day it's a way to to leave every everything off and and just focusing what you like and forget about the stresses that are outside or forget about classes, forget about everything. So it's a way to, uh, I wouldn't, I don't know what word to use, but to um, de-stress your mind yeah, and to, forget. to clear your mind. And, and without that, we, it, we need to adapt, you know, to the situation like everybody. But we are all, all, also uh, finding some good on it. We, are, we were actually talking about it today. We, we are finding new people, for example, that yeah. maybe we didn't talk to before the pandemic mm -hmm. because we were busy or we just didn't get to know them. Or we are doing different things um, that we don't have time to do during yeah, normal time. Absolutely. The pandemic is making us to learn a lot and talk to new people. So we are very happy about that mm -hmm. point. So we are positive. It has its good. It has its yeah. bad. Yeah. yeah, I think that's really awesome to hear and that just that you're being so positive about it because I think, I don't know about you, but I definitely have my highs and lows of like some days I'm like, okay, okay this is good. good. Like this is new. This is, we can do this. And then other days I'm just like, why can't it be the same? <laughs> but, um, you know, so it's really, it's awesome to hear that you're really kind of embracing the extra time that you have um, to get involved in different things. As you said, to meet different people that you probably normally wouldn't have met if it wasn't for, the pandemic because be because you'd be playing basketball um, mm -hmm. the whole time. So um, I guess I, I like that that you guys kind of mentioned some of those like um, we'll call them like graces or gifts that come with um, playing sports, being on the basketball team here. So um, yeah. community both on and off the court. Um, I think, Paula, you mentioned uh, commitment at one point. What are some of those other um graces or gifts that you guys feel like you've received from um playing basketball here at caldwell or even before when it was back in spain well i we believe that basketball has given everything to us because the fact of being here in the united states is because of basketball and yeah for me it's helping me to grow as a person to face my fears, to challenge myself. And yeah, I think I wouldn't be who I am now without basketball. And that's so special, I believe, because 
I I cannot say what give, but I don't know. I would say a lot of values that out of the basketball, I I don't know. I would say that, yeah. Great, that's awesome. Yeah, I agree. I think there are some values that a sport gives you that um, are useful in your in the real life. For example, um, like to have a goal and to fight for it. That's something that I think it's so important to learn how to lose and to learn how to win too. And and the importance that that has on life because. Uh, when you work hard for something and you and you lose it, maybe it's so um, it's so discouraging. But it, it's a way to train ourselves for real life too, yeah. and and the and also like the ethics of working hard for everything we do, and we translate that a lot into our into our personal lives. Mm -hmm. Wow! Well said. Well said. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great. That's great. Um, so let's transition to talking a little bit about um, faith, spirituality, and the role that that has, um, not just in your everyday life, but possibly in the way that you uh, play sports, that you're a student athlete, um, in the relationships with your families, et cetera. Um, so I guess just to start off, just a basic question. Um, how would you guys say you would describe your faith or spirituality life? And again, there's no wrong answer here. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, my case before coming to Cadwell, um, I didn't have a very faith life because how I I was educated. And since I came to Cadwell, I feel I'm discovering that faith in myself, and I'm still learning about it. And I feel I don't know how I will describe it, but it's so beautiful and it's helping me to process all this experience away from home and it just pushed me I feel I have I, I, I'm supported and I don't know how I will describe it but it, yeah um, I feel very well that now I'm finding that side of myself mm -hmm. that's awesome what about well, you Anna I, I was born in a Catholic family and well since I was since I was born I've I've always been introduced into the into the Catholic tradition and I will go to to mass with my sisters and my mom every Sunday and my grandma has played a really important role in in my growth as a Christian I believe uh, she she since we were young to all my sisters and cousins she has taught us taught us to, to love God and, and to trust in the power of praying. And I translate that into my daily life today. I, I trust in God for everything I do and, and I work with him. That's awesome. What would you guys say are, um, you know, given, I, I love the two stories that we have here. So Anna being like raised in the faith and kind of still, you know, learning and figuring out how to practice it in your everyday life. And Paula coming here and feeling like you're discovering that in, mm -hmm. you know, in a new way, in a different way, or just discovering it um, in mm -hmm. general. What would you guys uh, say are some of the obstacles or challenges that college students face today in terms of uh, interacting with their faith, again, whether it's keeping a faith life alive or working to discover something new um, in terms of faith. What are some of the obstacles that college students face, do you think? Um, for us, being a student at least, uh, we feel um, we don't have um, too much time to to spend with ourselves because I, I think that finding faith or it has to do with spending time with yourself to reflect, to talk to God. And yeah, sometimes, especially when we are in season, we don't have too many time because we are studying, uh, playing games. And I especially miss that times with myself. And I always try to, to have that time with myself to spend it and just to think, yeah. I think it's time what I, what the, the most uh, struggle, 
you know they, yeah yeah definitely yeah. yeah i agree sometimes with the routine you you kind of um, don't find time that time that you need to to dedicate to to your spirituality and to your faith and and that's important to find it and sometimes we maybe we don't do it enough that may be an obstacle yeah yeah i i would probably guess that most college students could agree with you guys on this yeah. one in terms of finding the time and i think whether it's time for to practice religion time to spend in prayer with god or even that own personal reflection time to uh, to reflect on your day and to see where you want to grow from that uh, that's so valuable in terms of fostering a faith or spiritual life and so when we don't have that 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 can be a real obstacle and challenge so um, I'm guessing that a lot of students would agree with you um, so uh, I'm curious being um, international students um, you know coming here and at, to a school like Caldwell that has a very specific uh, mission as a part of it, right? So we talk a lot about the mission. We have the mission statement. We talk about the values of respect, integrity, community, and excellence, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, how have you guys felt the mission of Caldwell? Um, how, how have you felt that you can relate to it as students um, from Spain, as students who grew up Catholic, didn't grow up, you know, um what's it like how do you feel like you can relate to the mission well i don't know i think those values that god will focus on i believe are the most important and i feel i have had it in my mind through all these years and yeah coming here and see that they focus on those values i feel that it was it was me, like it, we were in the same page, and yeah, I, I don't what the, I don't know. What the yeah, thing. it makes a difference to be in a school that that shares your values and where you know you are gonna be able to grow in what you believe. Mm -hmm. It it makes a difference when choosing a school or or when you are here, and and I think we need to remember them and to and to put them in. To put them in our in our daily lives to think about it about them yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. great great good well um before we wrap up i just want to ask if there's um anything else that you guys would like to share i love the connections that you made and uh, i guess what you just said about mission i mean that's so real is that those are values that I think so many people strive to embody and embrace already. And so coming into that wasn't a total shock or something new for you guys, um, but that you felt like you could jump right in. So is there anything else that you wanna share with um, our, our listeners? Um, mm, no, we would like to thank you uh, for giving us this opportunity and to talk about us and about our, our faith and Mm -hmm. When uh, one more thing about the uh, what basketball provides us in our in related to our faith, uh, I remember last Sunday the in mass the priest talked about uh, how important it is to to ask God for what we want, but he mentioned that we cannot forget to work for what we want. It's not just I want to get an A and I ask God for it and I will get it. You need to work for what you. Mm -hmm. Want. And I translate that a lot into into sport, into basketball. Um, in, like I ask God and I trust him and I know that if I work hard, he will give me the, um, the compensation in one way or another or sooner or later. But it's a way to, to relate my faith to, to what I do and to, to basketball. And yes. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. And yeah, thank you for for giving us this opportunity to <laughs> share uh, our faith and us that we have we come from the same country, we have the same culture, values, and yeah, it's so special that we can inspire others and we can be inspired from from other people. And yeah, awesome, awesome. I love it. And before I wrap up, I want to say. 
that I'd love to hear about some of your favorite food dishes from Spain. Mm. And if you have any recipes, let's try and get those ingredients and we'll yeah. we'll try and replicate something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I just want to thank all of our viewers for tuning in uh, to listen to this week's episode of CU Faith Fridays. And I want to thank Anna and Paola for being with us and for sharing such uh, wonderful little tidbits, I think, that um, I think we can all take with us in our own journey. So we really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, just want to say to uh, tune in. Hopefully next week we'll have a new uh, a new guest with us for CU Faith Fridays. Thank you, everyone, and have a great weekend.